What is your passion? Today, with this message, I want to ignite your passion for God and the things of God. Stay with me. Don't allow your past to destroy your future. I believe God has a plan for your life. And this message will help you. In Jesus' name to get one step closer to your divine destination. What is your passion? Which things, what do you do with zeal, with passion, with joy? Today, I want to ignite your flame for the things of God. You are a child of God. You are working so hard, but still something is wrong. Something is missing. Is it passion, perhaps? Uh, it reminds me of this uh, couple with two kids. They were building this beautiful house, their own palace. A state-of-the-art design, the best materials you can find, uh, all kind of electronics, I don't know, whatever they built. It was a beautiful place. And then the day came where they wanted to move in with their family. They went into this beautiful palace. Everything was fine, except there was no electricity. And you as a believer, everything may look good. It's all okay. But if there is no passion, it's like an empty shell. You're doing so many things, but there is no result. Live a life worthy of your calling. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Ephesians 4 verse 1. I repeat, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. God is telling you, is commanding you here to consider your whole life, your ideas, your attitude, what you are doing, what you are not doing, what you're supposed to do. Is it in line? Is it conforming with your calling? So examine all of your life. Is it conforming to the calling God has upon your life? How do I live worthy of my calling? Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for men. Work at it with all your heart. God tells you here, whatever you do, do it with all your heart. Do it with passion. Do it with zeal. Now this word passion, you can describe it also with the word fire. And the Bible tells you that you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You will be baptized with fire. And fire burns away. It changes the situation. Things are moved away because they are burned. They are consumed. Fire brings warmth. So if you are filled with passion, with zeal, with the fire of God, because you are baptized by Jesus with fire, then wherever you are, you will be the change, because you are baptized with fire. Rivers of living water. Another word to describe passion is water or living water. Listen to what the Bible tells us here. John 7 verse 38. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within me. You are a believer, do you believe in Jesus? Then the Bible tells you here that rivers of living water, that rivers of living water will come out of you. Now water, it flows, it cleanses, it gives life. So if you have the passion of God, wherever you are, you will cleanse the situation. You will bring restoration. You will impart you will bring life over there. So how do you live a life worthy of your calling? You must have passion. You must have this fire, this water, this living water within you. So how do I get this passion? You may wonder, Dwight, you're telling me so many things, but how do I get this passion for God, for the things of God? Let me read for you Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. Saturate yourself 
with the Word of God. The Word of God is the written Word, the Bible. Read it. Meditate on it. Memorize it. Study it. The written Word of God. Also the spoken Word of God. God can speak through sermons, through other things that are spoken. So the written Word of God, the spoken Word, but also the living Word. God lives in you. His Spirit lives in you. And you receive guidance, dreams, prophecies, you receive so many things from God. So meditate on the Word of God day and night. And then your passion will come. Then you will get more and more passion for the things of God are more important. You will get passion for God Himself. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It all starts with a decision. That you decide, I want to follow Jesus. Just like the song, I have decided to follow Jesus. You make this decision. I want to follow this God, this Jesus, whatever may happen. Even if people ridicule me, but I have decided to follow Jesus. Three steps to ignite your passion. So what are these three steps? First, decision, word, passion. First of all, you decide, you choose God. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Secondly, the word of God. Saturate yourself with the word of God. Thirdly, passion. Whatever you do, do it with passion and then your passion will grow and grow. My prayer for you today is that you will decide to follow God, to follow Jesus, that you will start filling yourself with the Word of God and then your passion will come and it will grow and grow and grow. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, thanks for watching my message. Subscribe, please. Be blessed and stay blessed.